hi what's up everyone how's it going welcome back to another video um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to find a fast trainer in top 11 2021 um, basically I'm going to be finding a fast trainer defender and I'll just show you how and let's just get right into it so as you can see over here is my team and over here I have like um, a lot of young defenders over here you can see I have four defenders lined up um, 18 years of age 19 19 and 19 the three um, at the bottom uh, from my youth academy as you can see they're all English um, and if you move forward upwards and if you move upwards um, you'll see that I have uh, my uh, first team lineup is kind of starting to deteriorate um, in quality and they're all at 80% I framed them up all at 80% in order so that I can see which guy is pinpoint fast and which guy is not so the first thing that you need to be doing is that you need to be having um, a lot of players like four defenders of the same age group which is 18 19 or 20 because players grow the same at the same speed at those ages of the same age group and make them of the same quality as you can see all of them are 80 plus and uh, all of them are of the same age group so let's just um, get right into it and select him and select the drills and start training and now the drill that you need to be um, choosing for defenders in order to train uh, the special abilities to the best is uh, fast counter attacks and why you need to be doing that is because um, you need to be adding all of the skills of the players um, that the training offers and then divide it by the number of uh, skills um, that the player has uh, the players uh, number of the skills that you're dividing with so um, in order to do that the best uh, training to train is uh, for the defenders is uh, fast counter attacks so as you can see this guy gives me a perfect two two um, let's just see what he what will he keep next uh, another two and for the final one let's just go and do it that's another two which which means that this guy is a very very good trainer he's not the uh, like toughest good trainer because the uh, maximum uh, good trainer that is the fastest trainer it gives a 2 2 2 and a 3 in the end but just below him is the uh, uh, the, the other one is very very rare to find that's uh, why this one is pretty good now let's just uh, go ahead with this one and see if this one is a fast trainer or not oh, okay he gave us a 2 2 and I guess it's gonna be a 1 this time I am not sure Okay, it was a two, 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 and so you need to be, um, yeah. And let me let me just tell you guys, you need to be doing six trainings um, in order to uh, get the proper results. I'll mention a chart at the end of the video so that you guys can compare your trainings. And a perfect two is a very good trainer. And then this guy is going for a two, one. Uh, I think this guy is an average trainer because a two, one, two, one, two, one is an average trainer. <coughs> two, one, two. one I guess we're just gonna get, get another oh it's a one again it's a one again he's a he's a he's a very very average uh, player maybe he's been below average actually not below average below average has give uh, more ones than twos but this guy has given three ones and three twos and six trains which means that he is an average trainer um, but I'm not looking forward to promoting an average trainer into my first team because I rather like to keep them for as long as possible which is not going to be possible in case of an average trainer and this guy is a, gives us a 2 so the, the technique over here is to keep the good players in your reserves keep the best players in your first team and uh, keep uh, discard the average ones to sell the average ones as soon as possible so this guy is giving us a 2, 2, 1 and I think that we would again have a 2-2 two, two and a 1 because this guy, uh, I, I remember training him and I remember that this guy was a good trainer so we have a 2 another 2 and for the final one I'm hoping, I'm guessing this one's gonna be a 1 this guy is a good trainer he's not a very fast trainer but he's a good trainer, he's somewhat fast trainer, he's above average. 
so this guy uh, okay this guy gave us a one for the first time and it's a two two I guess it's gonna be a one this time this guy is also an average V, uh, a good player, not an excellent player, but a good player. Yeah, one. It's a one. It's a one to two one. So, uh, you know, uh, the, the technique over here is that if you get three to four twos in a row, it's a very good trend. It's a fast trend, as you guys need to promote it to your first team. It will pay you off for years to come. If it's a good trainer, make him, uh, make him, you know, promote him to your um, substitute. Uh, substitute because substitutes tend to gain more um, uh, percent more quality rather than the uh, the first team so having a good trainer good player in your substitute is going to be equal to having a fast trainer in your first team and this card the you know um, the, the the average or the burst trainers honestly if, if, if a player gives you Anything less than a 2-2-1 two, two, and a 2-2-1, two, two, make sure to discard him. Um, anything lesser than that is not worth it, guys. And over here, you can see I have three more defenders coming because I have one fast trainer in my first team. I have found another fast trainer, very fast trainer, by training today. And I have three more defenders coming from my U team. I'll make them to 60% and then find out the fast trainer from within them and then promote him to my first team and then put all my rest into him. And that is how I can keep a very good team for years and years to come. And that is it for this video guys. I hope it helps you and I hope um, you like it. Make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.